Hello, hello. Let me get here. Um, Facebook, I think, perpetually annoys me. <laughs> so I was trying to tag people, and it wouldn't allow me to tag people, and I don't want to take the chance now, so I'll tag people. It wouldn't let me do the video if I tag people, which was weird. I don't know if there's something going on with my phone or whatever, but um, I'm going to do this, and I'll tag the two people that this applies to once the video is loaded. So this is um, tapping day two of 21 days of tapping on whatever you want. And today it's about getting older. So I'm 62. Um, and I've told this story, I think, before. And the two requests for someone that just turned 60 and somebody turning 70. So um, I, I'm 62. And I remember when I turned 55. I just remember having the thought like, wow, I have less time on the planet than more. And I do remember going into a bit of a funk about that for a couple of months. But then I tapped and not, I mean, I don't feel that way at all. I, I'm aware that I have less time on the planet than more. And it's interesting because I do watch a lot of near-death experiences, which I think are super cool. And I, I'm particular about the ones I watch because I do think there's some out there, uh, hey, Terry, that are really interesting that I that I don't liken it to but there's so many that are so good and I see the golden thread that goes through all of them and all those things just give me peace and hope about everything but we live in such a youth-based culture especially in the United States I really can't speak that so much for other places but for sure here in the United States there's this obsession with youth and you get discarded in a lot of ways as you get older um it, and and especially even for women, I would say that it's like the carnage that is left from that on aging. I've had friends say, you know, you disappear. I don't feel like I've disappeared, but I and I'm grateful for that. I I just think I'm I'm out there in a different way now. Um, I've personally never been one, just due to my upbringing in that that ever used my sexuality in business or whatever. So it's. If you've been raised that way, it's much more challenging. So the thing about aging is, uh, and I want to cover a couple facets of these. It can be like, I look different. I'm not the youthful person I used to be. That's the one thing I see particularly for women where it, it you can get really caught up in it and actually end up hurting yourself doing things to try and keep that fountain, fountain of youth going. I made a decision a while ago, I was just gonna age in whatever way I can. Do I do my best to take care of myself? Absolutely, I eat the healthiest foods I can. I um, I hike, I well, as long as I can, I will always be active. I thought about this the other day, and the thing about aging that would trouble me the most would be becoming more debilitated. So I do a lot of stuff to not, to ensure that you know, I can be as active as possible. And I saw an interview with Jane Fonda. I'm not sure if she's 85 or 86 now. I'd have to look. But she was talking at 85 about, I'm healthy. I'm healthy so I can still keep doing all those things. And I saw both my parents die in not great ways and not taking care of themselves. And early on, it was it became clear to me, I want to just do the best I can to take care of myself. Um and not do things to buy into the idea of like women expire at a certain age. And, you know, I'm like, I know I still have value and worth and I can contribute. And maybe it looks in some ways a little different to others. But um, so I just wanted to do that little bit of a monologue with it first. So, um, but like I said, when I hit 55, I was like, yeah, I've got less time on the planet and more. That really struck me. And again, that feels sort of gone out, even though I know that's the case. And it's none of us know when it's going to happen for us, you know. Um, and like they say, aging and getting older is a gift to many of us because it means we've lived a longer life. So um, what I would say for each person, depending on what it is for you about aging, if it's I don't look the same. That, you know, that's like a separate tapping issue. If it's like what I experienced, which was like, wow, I just have less time on the planet than more. 
So I'm gonna try and intermingle these and let's just tap. So karate chop. Even though I'm struggling with the aging process, I hit this new decade. E. It's kind of scary for me. Especially in a youth obsessed culture. Even though I hit a new decade or I hit a certain age, and it really struck me hard. I choose to acknowledge I feel this way now. Even though I notice I'm aging, I see the changes in myself. I see the changes in my body. I see the changes in my face. And I just want to acknowledge that right now. Go to the eyebrow. This aging process, especially in a youth obsessed culture, it can be so challenging so hard and what if this could be seen as an invitation to reveal to me these beliefs I have around aging what if I'm meant to see these beliefs so that I can shift them and see aging in a whole new way. That could feel really good to me. And what if whenever I catch that bully in my brain, making judgments about me, Maybe about how I look, fear about my memory, fear about my health. What if I can begin to recognize who's running my show? Who's feeding me? And is this the voice I want running my show? Do I want to buy into this youth obsessed culture that tells me I only have value if I'm young? What if I can slowly start to notice All the ways I judge myself for the aging process. And just keep interrupting that. Because I have gained so much wisdom in my life. Through all the hard things I've been through. And I like the idea a lot that the attitudes towards aging are actually just beliefs from a toxic youth obsessed culture. And what if by interrupting all these negative thoughts I might have about me aging, what if over time I could start to feel lighter and freer and actually start to believe 
that no matter how old I am, the best is yet to be. And then take a breath. I mean, this is, I had done that Women Embracing Aging program a bit ago. And um, yeah, it was, it's really, it really called me forward because I see so many people struggling with it, particularly women, not that men don't too, but again, in a youth obsessed culture, that's also very patriarchal. It's, you know, especially women, they can be told, oh, you expire. I remember a a cousin of mine said that once years ago, which I had addressed it. I hate how you disappear as you get older. And I remember being like, we disappear? Like, what? We actually disappear? I don't feel that way. I mean, if I'm, I could feel that way if I'm looking outside myself for affirmation from, say, the public, like, oh, like, about me. Meaning if I'm, if I'm like, looking for men in my case to be like, to tell me things about myself and how I look and how I appear, then I could feel pretty, pretty lonely and pretty bad about myself. But that's, I'm so grateful that that's not something that honestly matters to me, especially at this stage of the game. And, um, and I think when you catch yourself going down whatever rabbit hole it is for you, like, oh, my health. Like I said, the biggest thing for me would be to become debilitated physically. That would really rock my world. So I've been tapping on that when I think about that. And I'm still very active. You know, I consider myself to be quite healthy, you know, and and I I want to keep it that way as as best as I'm able. And then if somehow, you know, I have to cross that bridge with some sort of, you know, like, oh, I'm becoming more impaired about something, then I'm going to have to cross that bridge when I come to it. But I do believe the belief system is huge. And when you can start to interrupt all those patterns of whatever the BS that is fed about, like, you have less value, you're, you, you know, you look at the, your sagging skin and all that stuff. And then if you think of psychosomatics, again, every line on your face tells a story. It says something about you. And then I think we can all find that, wow, that's amazing. Like I've earned every single line on my face and everything that's going on with my body. I've, you know, I've, I've been around, you know? And um, so I just think depending on what it is for you, what about the, it's good to ask them, what about the aging process is challenging for me? What is it really? And what need has like, am I trying to fulfill? And when you can get in touch with that, then you have a roadmap on what to tap on. So Terry, great to see you. Helen, great to see you. Hope you found this helpful. And then we'll see you back here tomorrow for day three. Bye for now.